Welcome to this fine learning video. Today, let's learn about converting unit of measurement with big and little rascal team. Ready? Okay, let's go. Converting from kilometer to meter or from meter to centimeter or kilogram to gram gram to milligram First, let's visit our stairs of measurement to help us in converting this unit measurement one to another There are seven steps of these stairs Easy Top to bottom, the highest level will be the biggest unit measurement and the lowest level will be the smallest unit measurement in this stair Let's name each of the steps. First, KM, short form for kilometer. Second, HM, short for hectometer. Third, DAM, short for decameter. Fourth, M for meter. Fifth, DM for decimeter. Sixth, CM for centimeter. Seven, MM for millimeter. In this stair, KM, which is the kilometer, is the biggest unit of measurement, while MM, the millimeter at the bottom, is the smallest unit of measurement. The most commonly we use is kilometer, meter, centimeter and millimeter I have put a flash sign for them and you don't really have to worry about the rest Next, you need to remember the formula For each climb up step means you need to divide by 10 For each climb down step means you need to multiply by 10 Let's try to convert now 1 kilometer equals to how many meters? First, find where is the kilometer. There it is. Then, find the meter. Then you need to jump down from kilometer to meter. Remember the formula. As you are climbing down, each step you jump down, you need to multiply by 10. 1, 2, and 3 jumps. So 1 kilometer multiplied by 10, by 10, and by 10. 1 kilometer is equals to 1,000 meter. Easy, right? Now, let's try another challenge. 5,000 millimeter is how many meter? First, find where is the millimeter. There it is. Then find the meter. Then you need to jump up from millimeter to meter. Remember the formula. As you are climbing up, each step you jump up, you need to divide by 10. 1, 2, and 3 jumps. So, 5,000 millimeter divided by 10, by 10, and by 10, it gives you 5,000 millimeter equals to 5 meter. Now, how about kilogram to gram or gram to kilogram? First, let's visit back our stairs of measurement. Let's change the name of each step to First, kg, short form for kilogram Second, hg, short for hectogram Third, dag, short for decagram Fourth, g for gram Fifth, dg for decigram Sixth, cg for centigram and the last one, mg for milligram. In this tear, kg is the biggest unit of measurement, 
while mg at the bottom is the smallest unit of measurement. The most commonly we use is kilogram, gram and milligram. I have put a plus sign in front of them and you don't really have to worry about the rest. Little Baby Jack weighs 6 kilograms. How much Little Baby Jack weighs in gram? 6 kilograms is equal to how many grams? First, find where is the kilogram. There it is. Then find the gram. Then you need to jump down from kilogram to gram. Remember the formula. As you are climbing down, each step that you jump down, you need to multiply by 10. 1, 2, and 3 jumps. So 6 kilograms multiplied by 10, by 10, and by 10, it gives you 6,000 grams. So 6 kilograms equals to 6,000 grams. Good job! If you are not familiar with multiplication, don't worry. Please watch our videos in Fun Multiplication Learning only at Big and Little Rascals videos. Now, how about converting milliliter to liter? Let's go back to our stairs of measurement. This is the stair of unit of measurement with each name for each step. Let's convert 2,500 milliliter to liter. First, find where is the milliliter. There it is. Then find the liter. Then you need to jump up from milliliter to liter. Remember the formula. As you are climbing up, each step you jump up, you need to divide by 10. 1, 2, and 3 jumps. So, 2,500 divided by 10, by 10, and by 10, it gives you 2.5 liter. So, 2,500 milliliter equals to 2.5 liter. Well done! Again, if you are not familiar with decimal numbers, please do check out our fun learning videos about getting to know decimal numbers. Hope you enjoy this fun learning video. Don't forget to check out our other fun math learning videos and be an expert in fun ways. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you like to see other fun learning topic, do drop us a comment here. Thank you. See you later. Bye.